Mike Ziegler is is the recipient of the, the Sacrament of the Year Award primarily because he's a remarkable man. Well, we were backstage when I was Sacrament of the Year for the Metro Chamber, and he was awarded businessman that same night. And we met for the first time backstage, and he said, I'd really like to get to know you. And so he made an appointment, came into my office, and he was dressed in a tux at 10.30 in the morning. He knelt down and said, I'm here, Your Honor, to meet you, and the rest is history, and we've been great friends ever since. Mike? Mike who? Ziegler? Sacramento of the Year? You gotta be kidding me. Who are the other nominees? Larry, Curley, and Moe? So, so when, I told, when I told John Frisch I had to go to uh, Kinetics Illusions to, to film this, John said, wear the fox hat. So I did. <laughs> He's nuts. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mike is a very generous guy. He believes in sharing the credits with the people that did the work. Mike's one key to success in one word, lucky, really lucky. I'm from San Francisco, I have a business background. Uh, I, I was fairly lucky at a, at a, I was fairly lucky in business. And um, I sold the last business I owned in the Bay Area, which was a chain of car washes, and met Debbie Ziegler, my wife. Met Debbie Ziegler, chased her to Grass Valley, eventually married her, but Mike's neighbor worked for Pride and continually tried to get him, hey, come in and check this place out. Mike finally did. I walked through the doors of this Placer Rehabilitation Industries and my life, my life fundamentally changed. And they were looking to kind of change it into a business model. It was a typical nonprofit at the time. Its mission was to help people with disabilities have a job, but they really didn't have any business and they didn't really know how to, how to be a business. Pride started in a garage and has ended up to be national and we're competing equally across the nation in terrific Air Force bases and all across the country and it's very impressive to see how we compete with industry and win and are successful. I think Pride's revenue around that time was under $200,000 a year and today Pride's revenues are approaching $250 million per year because he has compassion and yet he is a businessman and put those two together and it's success. I think the success, the growth and success of Pride has had a dramatic effect on the Sacramento region. Frankly, today it, it gives us something to be proud of. It's wonderful to have this light shined on me, but it's a misguided light. The light needs to be shined on Pride Industries and all of the people that I'll have to overcome my shoddy leadership on a daily basis if you know what I mean. He is um, like a wild man. <laughs> he really is a wild man. And you know, it, it's tar hard to keep him on point on the agenda because he wants to go all over the place. So we have to rein him in. Here's a man who's inspirationist to us all. I mean, if he can make it, we all got a chance. Oh, thanks. Let's think about this. Let's, let's be a little Sacramento of the Year-ish, huh? You know, we're, we're struggling today with a tough economy and just a lot of negative news. And, uh, and it, it, it's wonderful to see that the organization that is responsible for creating more jobs for people with disabilities in America lives right here. It's a homegrown success story. Because we could have never become who we became, which is, by the way, the largest employer of the largest nonprofit employer of people with disabilities in America. We couldn't have become that without a lot of the people who are watching this video in the room, they helped us along the way. Um, I think that, that Mike achieved a great deal for himself early on, could have gone back into the workforce and achieved a great deal more just for himself. And, uh, and really what he's chosen to do is to invest his life and his passion and energy uh, in this area of a tremendously underserved group of people. Well, at Pride, you get a paycheck, you do a good job, but you get to look over your shoulder and you see people's lives who get changed by jobs. It's absolutely, it's invigorating. They're gonna carry me out of Pride in a box. I love what I get to be a part of. I flat out love it. Someone once said that if you love your job, you've never worked a day in your life. That's you, Mike. I congratulate you and thank you for all the work you've done 
with the disabled community in the country and also for your tireless commitment to this community. You deserve this award. Pride is good. So are you. Love you, man.